YouTube and I got $2 a week. Eventually it increased to $5 when I started living with my grandmother. Um, I ended up saving 62 bucks. She broke into that locked, the voice activated diary, broke into it, and stole it. Where did it go? Probably to get your fucking cigarettes. <sighs> Summer school. Summer school has nothing to do with Aaron. Summer school... I went to summer school after sixth grade because I failed most of my classes because I was getting made fun of so much that I didn't have the motivation. And, you know, I actually was glad that I went to summer school. In high school, summer school was optional for some people. Some people had to be forced, but for me it was optional. For me, I decided to take my history classes in summer school because I hate history because it's too boring. And oftentimes, in history, I'll kind of drift off and not hear a word they're fucking saying. But in summer school, you're basically learning a whole semester of content in about four weeks. So if I was in summer school to learn history, I wouldn't have a chance to doze off or anything because we would have a test every Friday. One unit for each week and a test on Friday. So I was able to pass those, no problem, except in one of my classes. I was made fun of, I guess what, teacher didn't do anything, so I hated that teacher. I ended up having him uh, for econ in my senior year of high school, and, you know, treated him like I would treat a teacher because I was always teacher's pet and I wanted to get on their good side, but in my mind, I was just, I'm just, I'm like, why didn't you do anything? And that was also the year and the same class I started actually pulling the hair from my head instead of just my eyebrows and my eyelashes. That's all I wrote down to talk about. I'm I'm really sorry. I didn't intend to cry. I really didn't. I made my makeup good for a reason, and that was to not cry. I mean, my fake eyelashes come off. I love fake eyelashes, but they just can't stand the crying. Ugh. And now I look like I did when I was gothic. <laughs> Fuck. You know, guys, I really do... This, this is me that you see on my videos. I don't think I'm going to ever, I've thought about it, but I don't think I'm ever going to allow myself to appear on video when I'm completely unstable. Um, I've been manic on a couple, couple of my videos, um, but realized quickly that I needed to, to take my medicine. Um, I think there was a couple where I was falling down and I was like, oh, that's why I feel like that. But the me that you see, the one who can talk sensibly most of the time, who has the sense of humor, um, that was actually the real me shouting. But the crying that you saw was very minimal compared to what would happen if I was off my meds. I wouldn't even be able to sit in front of the camera. I would probably have ran off without even turning it off, off shut myself in the room, and not gonna lie, probably hurt myself, okay? When I'm unstable, something in my mind and a tear tries to convince me I want to die. I don't want to die for several reasons. I have friends who I care about. I have stuff like hobbies and things that I do that I just love to do. I've got my animals that I love so very much, like my children. My animals have always been like my children. I have you guys. I have things that I haven't gotten to experience yet. I'm 22. I do not want to die. Of course, part of the morbid part of me wants to die before I get even more ugly when I get to an old age and wrinkly, and that's partially why I treat my face so chemically, because I'm afraid of wrinkles and such, and I, I'm so afraid of being an ugly old woman. I'm sorry. I've never seen an attractive old woman. <laughs> oh, no, I take that back. The only woman I've seen that was still attractive was... Oh, fuck, what was her name? Girls just wanna have fun. She had really fun, colorful hair, and she just looks absolutely fantastic right now. She is the only one who is, you know, more elderly. She's not like old, old. She even still looks like she has all of her, you know, old energy. She's just a spunky, cute girl. I wish I could remember her name. I could look it up right now, but I don't want to. So, yeah. But otherwise, I, I, I really, I don't want to die. In fact, I was like thinking about the last sentence that I would say if I knew I was on my deathbed, if I knew I was very close to dying, 
I would start saying these really random things um, like don't bother putting the clams in the oven I'm teaching the couch how to tap dance I would constantly say these things until I pass away naturally or whatever um, to make sure that my last words were as ridiculous and random as I am <laughs> and I, I do want to be cremated I don't know what I want to be put in yet though I don't think I want to be dumped somewhere. I think I want to. I want to live in an urn, especially if ghosts are real. Then I could come out of the, the urn and go hello. <laughs> that, that, if I if ghosts are real and I turn into a ghost, I'm gonna come up to one of my friends and be like, "Hey, how you doing? Don't be scared of me. It's just me. I'm not gonna scare you. I'll scare that person though. You want want to see me scare that person? Be like, senpai, senpai, who's still who's still alive for whatever reason. I go senpai. Look at that person over there. I'm gonna go scare that person scare the crap out of some person I don't know come on that would be fun I kind of hope ghosts are real so I'm a ghost and I can just come out and chill with my friends just be like yo I'm a ghost motherfucker <laughs> um anyway back to the point that's just a roundabout way of saying I hate sauerkraut um I love my life okay I've got senpai I've got Mike I've got you guys I've got playing with fire I have all my other friends I have an apartment I pay rent I buy my own food. I have a job that is three minutes away walking distance. I have a grocery store right there and right there. I have a bank right across the street. I have the school that I graduated from right over there that I go to get my hair done because I trust them way better than salons because I graduated there and I know how the students are taught. I have... We got the movie theater over there. I, I, I am in an apartment in a perfect spot. Got a pet, we got a pet store over there. and got a pet go over there. I like kind of like cahoots because they're, you know, they kind of remind me of a mom and dad shop and things are more uh, less expensive and, you know, I've seen cashier holding a bunny under her arm and I'm just like, I applied for that job but I didn't get it. Um, but I like my job at Walgreens. Despite the fact that Brian bullies me, I, he, he makes me want to quit, but every other manager, you know, the other two assistant managers and my boss, the store manager, and my coworkers, I get along with them really well. I like them. I like their personalities. I have conversations with them. And I don't want to quit. I get paid a decent amount over there. I, my boss tells me how good of a job I'm doing. I'm put at the register all the time because I pull the most numbers on suggestive sales a majority of the time. Um, during the first couple of weeks that we had a card, it was a little, it was a little hard because we were focusing on signing up people for the card. But um, I'm getting back into my groove. My um, my record is 62. Yay! My daily goal is 20. I didn't quite meet that yesterday. I got to 16 out of 91 customers in a five-hour period. But damn, will you see what I can do in an eight-hour shift? A full eight hours? Damn, boy! So I got to have that whole week where I was getting over 40. I was on the top 20 the entire time. Oh, my God. And so I'm important. <laughs> when I went on my disability leave, my boss said specifically, we're not going to let you go. We don't want you gone. Your hours are still here. You know, we're looking forward to you coming back. My other two assistant managers are like, where's Kara? And I'm sorry. <laughs> I said my real name. That's okay. You guys know it. Um... I had customers that were like, where's Rainbow? Because they call me Rainbow, no matter, because I change my hair all the time. But there's one customer who calls me Pinky, no matter what hair color I was. Because I, uh, when I met him, I had the blue hair and the pink stripe and called me Pinky. Um, and they're like, where's Rainbow? And I had a couple of customers like, where have you been? And I told them complete truth because I'm not going to be like, oh, I broke my leg. <laughs> I was like, I was on a disability leave, you know, because I'm manic depressive, blah, 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 blah. And I had one customer who, you know, held my hand. And I'm like, I know where you're coming from. My son passed away two years ago. And I was like, oh. And it was just, you know, it's good to connect with people like that. Good to, ow. I didn't realize I hurt myself while destroying those tapes. Ow, dude! I'm like, what hurts? I just touched my finger and it's like, ha ha, it hurts! Damn it. I thought I was being careful. <laughs> I guess not. Oh, I guess you guys saw me unleash the beast on <laughs> the freaking tapes. Who remembers VHS tapes anyway? I still have a TV with a VCR on it. <laughs> Get otacular retro. There's a VCR right there. Um, I don't know if it works though. 
What was I saying? You know what? Fuck all that. Alright. It was a serious video. It went on for like, what, three hours? <laughs> like my Anna, like my depressed Anna tier cartoons, we will always end. You know what? Even my manic Anna tier cartoon ended with sticky, um, <laughs> dancing to, oh, you touch my tra-la-la. -la. <laughs> oh, my ding ding dong. <laughs> Fucking hate that song. Okay, but here comes today's happy moment. Chotamate. Let's see if he'll do it. I've taught him to, I've trained him to kiss on command. Well, I'm kind of in the process of doing it. Okay, 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 kiss, kiss. Hey, Ezio, kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. Ezio, kiss, kiss. It's probably because I'm wearing lipstick. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. Come on, kiss, kiss. Good boy. Good boy. I've been training him uh, by uh, giving him walnuts. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, he's my little albino baby. Um, Mike named him Ezio. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Digging in my hair. He's my little, one of my little puppies. Rem does this thing where he's like, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm good. just kidding, goes down the stairs. But Ezio comes up right away. Yes. You're such a good boy. You are. Oh, thank you. I love you, too. He gives the best kisses. Rem will groom my hand, but this little monster actually tries to get into my ear sometimes. <laughs> Hello, honey. Where are you going? He's so fat. I don't know how he got so fucking fat. I don't know how old they are. Kill it. Oh, come here, fatty. Let me say hi to the Raytonites. Hi. Let me say hi. Yeah. He's in love. Yeah, he's like, what the fuck are you doing with me? Okay, so like I said, I'm disabling comments and um and ratings. Um, if you've watched this far, you're you're a pretty dedicated Raytonite, and I hope and I'm sorry that it it was so bad, but now you know the real Raytona. Now you know pretty much everything about me. I, cause I couldn't think of any more that I could reveal about myself. Oh my god. <laughs> Dingo, stop me! Oh my god! Oh my god, he bit my earring! You can't has! Um, so I'm sorry if parts of it were pretty disturbing, pretty... Oh yes, my baby, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're so cute. I'll bring Rem into to Walgreens, but I've never tried bringing it Ezio because I'm afraid he might poop. But Rem is um trained to when I take him out, I put him on the towel, and he get it, all his little poops out, and I throw them away. I take a little tissue and I pick them up and I throw them away, and then the rest of the time I have him out, he no poop. So no poopsies. He um. He had some soft, smelly poops, and apparently that <laughs> apparently that means they're stressed. And it was because I had three different houses in their cage, um, and apparently I tried to build one that was big enough for both of them. But apparently this one got so fat that Rem couldn't fit. So I built them one luxurious you can't has one luxurious house. And ever since then, his poops have been normal, and they've been cuddling more. And just it. <laughs> You're so cute. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm, um, you know what, that, doing this video felt really good, honestly. I got out a lot of things. And I feel pretty good right now. Um, still shaking. I don't know if you noticed, um, when I had his... They do this thing where they grind their teeth and they go and uh, it's kind of their version of purring. Yeah, I love my little albino baby as I do, my little Etsy, my little fat. So let's see if um if it'll do it when I'm holding him. Can you see it? I'm shaking. 
You'll probably see it better when I hold my Gatorade. <gasps> Are you okay, honey? You just whipped me with my tail. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. You can kind of see it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Albinos have really bad eyesight, so sometimes you'll see them go. So they're trying to focus on whatever they're trying to see. Rats alone have really bad eyesight. They um, paint images with their little whiskers. Yeah, are you looking around? Yeah. Who's a shoulder rat? Who's a shoulder rat? I don't, I can't understand how people are afraid of rats. Wild rats, I can understand. But little pet rats, they're, they're like, they're so clean. I have to smell your fur. Can you smell your fur? I can't smell his fur, but their fur smells really good. And they're so soft. They're so soft. And they're so sweet. They're seriously the dog of the rodent world. Aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, you're so sweet. I love it. I try to speak really softly to them because their hearing is really, really sensitive. Yep. Yeah. I love it. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. No? No kiss kiss? Kiss kiss? Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! What was I saying? Um, oh yeah. Thank you for watching this if you made it this far. I feel so much better right now, especially after, de after destroying those tapes. I'm gonna have to figure out where the hell I'm gonna throw them away at. I might just go throw them in, put them in a bag and throw them in the dumpster. The dumpster. Um, he's my baby. Um, I'm really sorry if um, a lot of that was unpleasant, but like I said, uh, I, I warned you, and um, you know, when you delve into somebody's mind, even somebody who's more normal than me, you'll find a lot of dark stuff. You know, there are people who could tell you, sorry, who could tell you stories about things that you'd never believe. People have told me their horror stories, and I'm just like, oh my god, you know? That's why, you know, even as, even younger, I'm like, my life is really bad, but I don't have the worst life. I've never thought I had the worst life in the world. There are people who've had so much worse abuse. You know, I've never been sat on a stove, a lidded stove, like some people have. I mean, I've been burned by a cigarette, but some people get burned a lot worse. You know, I've seen and heard. Yes, you're a good boy. He's bruxing. That's that's his purring. Um, you know, I've seen and heard way worse horror stories. So, don't get into your mind that I did this to complain and be all like, Oh my god, my life was so terrible. Because like I said, even though it still hurts, I would not be here. Huh, baby. Huh, oh, sweetheart. No, you wouldn't have me as a mommy. They're really lucky to have me as a mommy because I'm very good to them. <laughs> He's definitely a little more curious about my, uh, ear. <laughs> no, you can't ask. I have pencil, pencil earrings, and he, apparently he wants to have a pencil. Um, sorry, I keep going and going. Again, that's the ranting thing. But I'm hoping that kind of, bless you, I'm hoping that kind of helps you guys to understand me a little better and just know, just know that you know the real me. And the real me will never hide from you. Um, I'm, you know, staying on my medicine to make sure friends in person and online alike don't have to see me that way. Um, you know, my, my regular, my normal self, my me self, is pretty crazy. But not, not insane asylum crazy. I'm just a wacky, eccentric person. He's grooming my hand. Oh, oh, you're grooming my wound. Oh, please don't make it worse. Oh, it stings! It stings! It stings! It stings! Oh, he knows you can't have my ring. <laughs> he knows Mama's hurt. 
Oh, so sweet. I love rats. They're so smart. Sorry. I'm obsessing over my rat on camera. I'm so sorry. He's a good boy. Um, so thank you if you watched this far. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry it was so long. Um, and I'm gonna go work on some important stuff. You can't has. So make sure to subscribe, spread the word of awesome, and become a retada, <laughs> and see more of my ratikins. And hopefully next time I can get R Rem to freaking come out. What are you doing back there? I have my my screen right here, so I can look at his little fat, little fat butt. Your little fat belly. How did you get so fat? You and Rem are both on the same diet. I have. A, I kind of feel like Rem is a runt. What are you doing? You're not chewing on my vest, are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? I think he's nuzzling the fur on my vest. No, you can't pass. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Um, I really love you guys. The fact that so many people wanted to know really makes me feel like I can trust you with this kind of stuff. I love you too, Ezio! You can't have that! <laughs> he likes jewelry! Um, and I just want you to know that, again, there are no words to express how freaking much I appreciate everything you do and how freaking much I love you guys and I wake up every morning and go, I get to talk to my peoples. Well, you know, they're not mine, like, you're, you, I don't own you, obviously, but you're my you're my friends. You're in my circle, biatch. Sex on the beach. Just kidding. <laughs> Hello. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Sex on the beach. Sex on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. Okay. <sighs> I'm so hungry. I'm like that's that that hungry, hungry. Where you don't feel like you're hungry, but you know you're... What are you doing? It's you. You're so cute. Do you like the fuzz? No, you can't! Yes! Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Say bye-bye. Say thank you. Oh, thank you. Love me. You're so lovely. Yeah. Good news. Good news. <laughs> and after all that, I can still say that I'm happy with my life. But what makes me so special? Nothing. I'm human, just like you. Some of us have easy lives, but others are not so lucky. People have encountered worse things, and most of them are still here. Are they more gifted? No. They're human. So, if they're still here, then I should be strong enough to stay. And if I'm still here, what makes you think you can't stay? If I can have the strength, so can you. I'm no better than you. I wasn't hand-chosen by God to survive. I just wish I could tell myself that when I'm unstable. But, no matter what, there will always be a rainbow waiting for you, no matter how long the storm lasts. No matter how long the storm lasts. And after all that, I can still say I'm happy with my life. But what makes me so special? Nothing, nothing makes me so special. No, no, I'm human just like you. Some of us have easy lives, but others are not so lucky. People have encountered worse things, and most of them are still here. Are oh, they more gifted? No, 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 they're human. Good man. So if they're still here, then I should be strong enough to stay. And if I'm still here, what makes you think you can stay? If I can have the strength, so can you. I'm no better than you. I was a hand chosen by God to survive. I just wish I could tell myself that when I'm unstable. But no matter what, there will always be a rainbow waiting for you. No matter how long the storm lasts. Woohoo! <laughs>